All right, product provided by PR Hound and UGEGMBH and NN Games. I got one more. May as well show off this. This right here is two for one. Over Horizon and Steel Empire. And for this, before you begin, you choose either English or Japanese. I'll take English. And basically, this is Steel Empire and Over Horizon. You have, like, two different, multiple versions of the same game. You have Over Horizon, the arcade, the NES version, probably. The Steel Empire, for the Mega Drive. As well as the GBA port that was released in 2005. I'll be choosing, like, one of each. So, I'll start off with Over Horizon. And here, you can basically choose your options, you can have your cheats, infinite lives. You know what, I'm gonna just... I'll just play it normally. Because why not? Standard mode. And challenge mode. Let's go. Yeah, you gotta hold down start to start the game. So let's get started. Yeah, Y buttons aim backwards, B e buttons to shoot forward. And you can basically switch between different weapons. Bad so far. At least I'm trying my best with this game. Like with the previous game, you don't have to worry. You can just use cheats to basically make yourself powerful and make the game trivial. That's not to say it's a bad thing, though. Nice, now I got multiple lasers. Uh-uh. Wait. How do you speed up the... No, you can't even rewind? That's dumb. You can use save states, but still.
Jeez. Yeah, I think I've seen a good idea of how this works. I want to try using it at maximum level. Let's see what it's like at max level. Basically, at max level, you have access to basically every weapon you got. That's nuts! That is absolutely nuts. Yeah, let's see you try to approach me from behind. Basically, you have like five different weapons to choose from. Although I personally like this one the best of all. Or not, depending on how you look at it. Option power ups. That did it. Not bad so far. Ugh, that sucks. Even with max and max weapons and everything, you still get get whacked. I tried. That's alright. I will say that this game is actually interesting. Now let's move on to the Steel Empire. And I'm only going to be choosing one of them because I don't think there'll be any need to do both. Besides, you're getting pretty much the exact same game. 
We have infinite lives, infinite bombs, max weapon levels, and infinite credits. Yeah, how can you do rewind anyway? Yep, of course, it was a game that was published by Acclaim. This is the Steel Empire. And you can choose how much lies and continues you got. Or if you really want to be masochistic. Let's do that. And it's set in a fictional world. Now you can choose between either a striker or a zeppelin. I'll take the striker. Good luck. Yeah, but unlike most games, you have a health bar. Take too much damage and you die. Like I said, take like four hits and you're as good as dead. Yup, like that, see? And the game doesn't plan around, because we're doing this on hard. you have maximum health is important. Honestly, can now just consider releasing all the Gradius games on here? They already did that with a PSP version. Ow. Shoot backwards. I see this EL button, ZR button lets you activate the bomb. That took down the cannon.
That did it. Not bad so far. Now we're heading into the... Hey. Let's try the Zeppelin. Good luck. And yeah, the, the Zeppelin has like the highest amount of health. <laughs> Yes, it could take a lot of punishment, too. Gotta watch out for turbulence. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, get whacked. And we need to get out of here. Boy, this is gonna get rough. Yep, go way too fast. Finally! Have I like what? Taking so much damage? Yeah, good riddance. Survive that.
Sure. I'll stick with the Zeppelin. But I think that's gonna probably do it for now. Because honestly, yes, there are save states here. But there's like a lot. I'll just do one more and that's it. Besides, what I'm also gonna show is the GBA port. And like before, I'll hit max weapon level. I'm just only showing this off, nothing more. Presented by Hoppy Film Incorporated. And this is Steel Empire on the Game Boy Advance. Yep, this is very different compared to the original Genesis version. A lot more crunched up. Yes, there is some steam crunch. For a game that came out in 2005, I'm surprised not many people got to play this. All right then, let's get it done. I'll stick with the Zeppelin. Good luck. Chapter 1, The Wrong. You only have like four buttons in here. But yeah, but that's the only other negative that I got about this. There's like massive screen crimes. Meaning that one false mistake and you're dead. You go with your camera, unlike in the, in the previous game that came out on the NES. This one actually has a health bar. Like, if you take enough damage, you die. You die. Which is nice. Which is nice. And you press the R to use the bar. Not that I have a negative issue with it, but still. Nice that they made a button press for it so that way you can shoot backwards instead of forwards. Yeah, for a Game Boy and Advance game, that's actually impressive. Down. Unlike in the previous one, it meant level 7. Not bad, though. Yeah, it looks a little bit crunched up, but what can you do? Up, you die. Not bad so far. Not 
not bad. Not bad so far. Looks like we're about to fight the first boss again. Yeah, I'm only doing this just to show this game off. You gotta love it. And that's the end of that situation. Really gotta do better, you know. Stage one, not so bad. Now the next target is the raw mine. Where the hiding enemies in the dark. And we'll choose the striker this time. The enemies in the darkness. That's also another issue. Blew out its lights. And now you gotta get the heck out of here. Since you're flying on a, on, a, on a ship, you're a smaller target. Also, getting in those health bars will certainly help. Okay, this is at least a bit more tolerable compared to the Genesis version. Sure, there is some major screen crunch, but they had to rectify by making this a little easier. Ah, 
Ah, nuts! At least I can continue where I left off. out of there yeah look at that slowdown though that slowdown is a terrible down. Yeah, let's just finish the job. Get wrecked. That was not pretty. should probably do it. Yeah. I've covered almost everything this game has, and then some. The other two are basically the same thing, but in Japanese. But you're basically got, like, five games for your money's worth. Overall, it's pretty fun. I hope you guys give it a shot if you can. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Brought up provided by PR Hound and Editing Games. This is Mayman NG signing off. Peace out.